Hello everyone, in this video, I'd like to briefly discuss when while using Siemens starter or drive starter server drive commissioning, how can we proceed the stationary measurement for motor parameters? Like this case, this is one recently case I had when I was trying to proceed the stationary measurement. I had this trouble. I wasn't able to proceed the stationary measurement for motor parameter properly. But actually the problem was very simple because when I was trying to do this active measurement, my servo was on. You know, sometimes when you are doing the commissioning for the big system, sometimes the motor on or off is really hard to hear. So in this video, I like to use this chance to, to reveal the procedure to do this stationary measurement. So firstly question people will ask, why we need to do this stationary measurement. So to briefly answer this question, if you look at this, those parameters comes from the system default configuration, default parameter values. Okay, and the right side, once we complete the active measurement successfully, you will see some new value. As we know, when we config the server drive motors, we can select the motor size from the wizard list, right? The Siemens has a wizard list or you can use the drive click to identify the servo and um, encoder. But after all, all those parameters from the software itself, from the part list, they all the pre-configured parameters. But when you receive the real motor, the motor definitely will have some slightly different parameters. For example, the motors will have slightly different compared with the default resistance or leakage inductance, right? All those parameters will have slightly different. In addition, you will see here the current controller peak gain and the integral action time, those parameters plays a very important role for the speed control loop, for the server drive to the motor. So those parameters plays a very important role. Or I would say, before we do any further kernel loop, speed control loop, or positioning control loop for any other optimization, the first step we better do is a stationary measurement. So in this video, I will reveal this procedure. This video will be a very brief video to reveal the whole process. How can we use the Siemens starter or drive starter to config the server drive to do the optimization, one button tuning. How can we do this? You can reveal the video from my channel then you can go to my channel, Electrical Automation Hands-On, my channel, and then review this video. One button tuning, S120, via starter or TI Portal Star Drive software. And this video demonstrate how can we use these two software for the S120, how can we optimize the server drive. Okay, and this video, I will specially discuss this stationary management there are a couple of steps. And since this stationary measurement is the first initial important step, okay? So firstly, when we are trying to do the stationary measurement, you definitely need to config the server drive properly initially first. So you need to guarantee your server drive can move the correct direction, your motor and your encoder all config properly, right? Your server drive can probably power on the server drive or even very simply jog your server drive, okay? Then make sure your system is online, your software online with the server drive. So in this system, I have S120 server drive, I have a infeed module. Uh, after this infeed module, we have uh, six server drive motors, okay? And then, for example, I'm picking the drive two for the motor identification. So I will select this stationary tuning measurement. And from this drop down list, I will select the stationary measurement. Okay. And if your motor was powered up, if you click this active measurement, the system will show the P1910. And if you ask some support, they will tell you, okay, you need to, you need to adjust the P10, set the P10 to some other parameters to allow the software has a permission to adjust other parameters. However, that doesn't quite help because that moment your server drive was on. So first step again, so you need to online your server drive, okay, do the online. And then you need to power off your S120 server drive, drive and the infeed. For example, in this case, this infeed supplies six server drives. 
to proceed this server drive two for this stationary management, I need to turn off all those powers and also turn off the in-feed power, totally turn off the power. I mean, the turn off power doesn't mean you shut down the panel, okay? Your command turn off the in-feed, okay? And once you turn off, then you will find you are able to click this button and that time, once you turn off the motor and the in-feed, you will see once you click this button, it will pop up this message. The motor identification is performed once at the drive enabled. Okay, here I should correct my word. Turn off means disable the S120 server drive and the infeed. Okay, and also make sure your brake can be released properly because when we are doing this identification, so your server drive would have a slightly move, very slightly move. Basically, as shown here, it will turn up to three quarters of the revolution of your motor. So you need to be very carefully while you are doing this, your tool, your drive will move slightly. Typically, I would recommend when you are doing this initially, you better disconnect your tool and the server drive or leave your tool and the server drive can move freely. Okay, click this active management and uh, watch this message, check your brake and check your system, especially watch your system. In the meantime, make sure if your system has a safety system, your CPU definitely need to enable the safety, right? Enable the drive safety. So check the drive safety, check the drive, enable, power up, they all initially steps. Okay, once we click this close, it doesn't happen anything because at this moment, you see this value at this moment still, the new value still at zero because currently the system is waiting for switch on, waiting for the power up or enable. Then you can use your PLC control the server drive to power on. And this power on means after the active measurement, the system is ready. Okay, then we power on the infeed and the servo. The power on means enable. Right, it is not really the 600 volts power on. 600 volts always on, okay? And then once you enable the infeed and the servo, then you will hear a little bit energetic things, sounds, that sounds will stay one or two seconds and immediately you will see the new value will show up here. You will see some new value show up like this. So ignore my picture, my picture just show an idea. Uh, actually, I did uh, the identification already, so that's why they are showing the same. So in real case, you will see your current value and the new value will slightly different. Those new value are identified after the motor enabled, okay? If you click now, it won't accept the new value because currently your motor and your in-feed, they all active, they all enabled. So at this moment, you need to disable, disable, basically command power off S120 and the drive and the infeed. You turn off them. So this is really annoying, right? So we need to turn on to identify, and then we need to turn off. After turn off, then you click this accept value. You will see all those value will accept into your server drive. Okay, then your server drive will have a new value. So you will see, after the identified the resistance and the leakage inductance and the leakage inductance will have some slightly new value. Those plays very important role between the motor module and the motor. So allows the server drive can control the motor better. And especially for the current loop P and the integral, this automatically identified. If you have to do the further tuning for the speed control loop, then you can base on this new parameter and uh, increase or decrease based on this new learned value. Okay, this is much better than using the default value. Okay, so take care. After the new value, turn off your server drive and the in feed, then allows you to accept the value. Finally, so don't forget, you need to power up your S120 server drive again and the in feed again to run the motor slightly. So from my experience, after you finish this stationary measurement, you will definitely hear your motor sound will sound smoother than before. So that's because all the parameters become better. It's really identified 
using the real device. Okay. All after this, once you test that your motor can run properly, okay, then finally, don't forget, while you're doing online, you click the control unit and then click the this copy run to room to make sure all those new parameter we can copy run to room. If your whole system cycle powered, I mean the entire power system, 620 volts for the control unit, they all cycle powered, then your parameter will not lost. Okay, so copy the room. And finally, when you are doing the online, and don't forget, click the project level and click this upload. Upload the project, upload all the online parameter to PG, your computer. Then we can go offline and then compile the project. Then all those parameters saved in your server drive online controller and also upload backup to your offline project. Okay, this is my PowerPoint show this procedure. So I like to use this way to show. So let me show a brief video. Basically this video came from the video I just demonstrated before. Okay, and now let's shift to the drive blue, this blue drive, stationary management. Okay, then let's shift to the stationary management. Okay, let's active this management. Then the system alarms, and here the system will show the motor data and the notification active. Now the system is waiting for us to turn on the motor. I can turn on the motor. Okay, this identification done. So after this complete, we will see some new parameter showing here. So we will see the motor resistance and the leakage and some other values. And after this, you can click accept the value. And in the meantime, we will see here the current control P game. The current control, the system will also identify and uh, suggest this value here. Okay, after we accept the value, now we are still online. Then we go back to the control unit. You can click this copy RAM to ROM to save all the parameter in the drive from the RAM to ROM. Okay, so now if you click this copy RAM to ROM, so all the parameter will copy it from RAM to ROM. Okay. All right, and after this step, I recommend you can click this load the project to PG. Basically, upload all the parameter from the drive to your offline, this starter software, this starter project. All right, in the video I just demonstrate, I was using the control panel to power up the server drive and infeed. So that is easy. But if you are using the PLC, take care when you active or disable the S120, you need to follow this procedure. So I correct the word power on to enable and disable here in this picture. So make sure you disable the server drive first, then click this active button. Then the system is ready to identify. After that, using PLC or button to enable the S120 server drive and in feed. Then the motor will identify. After the identify, take care disable your S120 server drive and infeed, then the system allows you to click this accept value. After that, click the copy run to room and upload the project. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.